if we have some extra time. So uh, I'm just going to dive right into save the date, and we'll see what happens. Oh, well, oh, I know. I know it couldn't be verified. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. So save the date. Ian didn't want to tell me anything about this game. He just, he just wanted me to play it. So... All right. Hello? This is super loud on me. I don't know about you guys. There, that made it a little bit better for me. Ah, all right. Hello? Oh, you're early. You must be calling about tonight. I meant to ask where we were meeting. I know we're planning on having dinner, but we never decided where. Hmm. How about Thai food? Ooh, I've never had Thai. That sounds fun. I've always wanted to try Thai food. This will be fun. Are you ready to order? I think so. Picture of the pad looks amazing. I'll have that. What are you having? Hmm. Oh man. Do they how do they know like my favorite Thai dish? Sounds pretty good too, but no, I'm sticking with my first choice. That is meal with surprising gusto. This is delicious. Should have done this a long time ago. So glad we we're able to meet tonight. Do you know why why I wanted to do this? No. Well looks flustered for a moment. I've been really wanting to ask you, well, sorry, this is hard to say. Felicia pauses for a moment, that takes a deep breath. Really hard to say, I'm not feeling, were there peanuts in that dish or something? I don't, she topples face first into her food. The rest of the evening is a blur of ambulances and yelling, but somehow you feel like you already know what is coming. You're not really surprised when the ashen-faced medical technician comes to tell you what you already basically know. Felicia had a severe peanut allergy and it killed her. Oh! Oh, holy crap! Oh! Um... I have... I have lost. Huh. Let's, uh... Let's try that again. It's Felicia! Hmm... Get some burgers this time. <laughs> hmm. I'll have it with bacon. He'll serve it with the again. Every bite she tops eating looks wistful. My dad would have loved this place. He would have been right at home. He really loved burgers. The place has great ambiance. She sighs. What happened to your dad? He left mom and me when I was six. Directly the first time since the meal was served. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to dump that on you out of the blue. I'm just not used to thinking about him. I also don't think he's ever come up since I moved here. Mom tries to call him sometimes, but I... It's easier if I just don't think about him. She gives you a much warmer smile this time. But enough about personal soap opera life. I refuse to be upset in the face of such delicious hamburgers. He's only a big bite out of her burger. I've been thinking lately about school and what comes after. Here with some kind of commotion coming from outside. Let your crazy your neck to try and see. What's going on? Something happening out there? Sounds like someone's shouting. Succession of loud bangs. A string of firecrackers going off. I. Takes you a moment for the red stain spreading across her shirt to register. It's got an uncomprehending shock. I think I've. I've been shot? And ever so slowly she crumples into the booth. You're vaguely aware of the sounds of gunfire from outside. Ah! No! Ah! Everything will be alright. You know he's lying. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, my date ended in disaster. Oh, man. That went really badly. I guess we gotta start again. Hmm. Okay, so Thai food ends up in a massive uh, peanut allergy. Uh, burgers ends up with her getting shot. So let's try Taco Night. It's another dating sim. It's one that Ian recommended to me. Uh, I think there's more, there's more to this one than, um, than you often see. So I don't know. There's something, Ian doesn't recommend games unless there's something weird about them. So, uh, I'm kind of, yeah. 
So far, I, my date just gets killed, no matter where I take her. Where do I want to sit? Hmm, patio outside. Window, water? Let's do the patio. Nice. Take your seats and start looking at the menu. Okay, let's have some tacos. Do you have any recommendations? Yeah, the fish tacos are amazing, but I'm open to other options. Hmm. I'm a fan of the fish tacos. You convinced me I'll have them too. I hope I don't obsess you, but for some reason I'm just really excited about tacos tonight. Not normally this obsessive, honest. Do you ever get like that? Obsessed over some particular thing you want, exclusion of everything else? Um, nah, pretty easy going. I guess. Oh, what's that? <laughs> those dolphins? I think those are dolphins. Well, she runs the really look out over the ocean. Oh no, it's dolphins! Oh, have you ever seen anything quite like it? Once, maybe. <laughs> oh, what's happening? Really, the whole patio collapses into the sea! She has to jump for safety, but she can't! Oh! Oh! Oh, that, that date ended in disaster. Yeah, I feel better. I was sick yesterday, that's why we didn't have the stream yesterday, but I feel, I feel better now. I'm still coughing some, and, and you know, I'm not 100%, but I'm definitely, you know, not bedridden like I was yesterday, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine to be here. All right. I got one more option here. <laughs> Change of plans. We can't go to dinner tonight. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Her death threat? What's going on? You're kind of starting to creep me out here. Okay, this is all pretty weird. You seem pretty insistent that dinner tonight would be disastrous. gonna happen? What makes you think I'm gonna die? We're going to dinner for goodness sakes, not a war zone. What's the worst that can happen at a simple dinner? <laughs> Why'd you even come up with that? Have you been sitting home today, coming up with things that could go wrong tonight? Like, no, we're just having dinner. There's not a whole lot that can actually go wrong with dinner. No, really, you're going to die. What can I do to convince you this is a bad idea? What cannot you do? Can you do? This is a bad idea. Sitting here at home with a completely near-death experience free day, it's hard to imagine anything really bad happening, like you're saying. So what can you say to make me believe I'm actually in terrible danger, and somehow you're the only one who knows anything about it? Oh. Oh. Yeah. I guess I could try this, but it seems really invasive. Okay, 144. What's pulling wobblers mean? He said. 144. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm armed. I'm prepared. I'm prepared to convince her that I know the future. You can't go to dinner, it's too dangerous. Welcome Ian, everybody. Hey, folks. Hmm. You go to dinner tonight, you'll die. I can't put any blainer than that. What? It's not funny. Some kind of weird death threat? Pretty weird. Yeah, yeah. Now, 
really are gonna die. How can I convince you? We should move our cams up to the corner. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. You can do that. Oh, so much better. There we go. All right. This so. is uh, kind of sort of a dating sim, Taylor. Yes. It's, it's playing on something. <laughs> How did you... Are you looking into my room somehow? That's not cool, okay? Really not cool. I'm having dinner with a weirdo stalker, and then the airplane still crashes into her. All right, all right. All right, so. So maybe I need to tell her the private thing about her, her father. Um... I want to just get through this stuff all really quick. Okay, okay. So I might need to so the, somehow lead her along, like, well, like not try to tell her directly what's going on. Did you do the pick a number? Yeah, oh. and that didn't work. That just made her get freaked out. So if I freak her out too much, I think you can change in plans. It's been, it's been years yeah. since I've played this. That's where I started, and then yeah. So I, I tried suggesting this, and that doesn't do anything. Uh, or maybe a quick dinner would work. Oh uh, no, these are no, these are all usual options. Well, let's see. I did I had multiple options here. So let's go to the booth. Uh, last time fish tacos were fine. I know. No, 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 no. Don't do the dolphin thing. Okay, I saved her. Wow, okay, okay. I'm actually from the future. Every <clears throat> I okay. don't remember which one of these works. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. I really appreciate the part where you know save my life and I'll understand. Blah blah blah. The only one super lab or practical joke. You know, global girl. Blah blah blah. Okay. So here's what we'll do. Think of a word and interesting. Okay. Actually, let me. Okay, let me quick save. Quick saved. All right. Think of a word, an interesting one. Got one. Now what? Now tell me what it is. Really trick. Peristalsis. All right. Reload. Think of a word. Okay, it was peristalsis. Can we move on now? How did you? That's really eerie. Okay, let's assume that I accept for the moment there's at least some weird crap going on that should take a face value. What is all this about? Your character in a video game trying to win, but when you die, I get a came over. Uh, it's kind of like Neo. You're not actually real. I figure out how to stop you from dying all the time. I need you to help me solve a puzzle. I think I know what to do, but you keep accusing me of being a crazy stalker. How? Oh. It, um... You can always... Oh. oh, what? I was gonna say... Oh, I can quick save, save and then see what happens. That's true. Keep committing. I guess that sucks for you. I'm not sure if you're... Sympathy now or what? So I didn't die, does that mean you win now? I don't know, I've never gotten this far before. Let's make the best of it. I support your goal of me not dying. Uh, let's say it's definitely safer. Okay. When a car crashes in the front of the restaurant. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it ended. Okay, well, let's load. Okay. So think of a word. Sparistalsis. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna save again. Right. 
So... Hmm. I would either do... Yeah. I was gonna say that one or the one above it. I told you things I picked from my civil session. Figure you must have been stalking you to know them. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I am pretty paranoid. I mean, kind of freaked out as it is. Yeah. So I guess the trick is, how do you convince me to trust you in a hurry? It's kind of a tough one. I guess you need to be able to tell me something non-threatening, but also mysterious enough to pique my interest. So even if I wasn't sure how you did it, I'd be interested enough to play along, huh? Even calling you a crazy stalker would be something you couldn't possibly know even if you were stalking me. So, hmm. Let me think. Hmm. Hmm. And this is hard. Yeah, the dad thing creeped her out last time. But... Hmm. Let's see here. Uh... Hill? No. Call it the local Hogwarts pickup stop. Fans can carry out the Hogwarts. Okay, local Hogwarts pickup stop. That too? Perfect, that should do the trick. Glad I could help. This help save my life? Suddenly, there's snakes everywhere. Oh, it's just tentacles. Okay, countless tentacles. Oh, holy crap. So it's just immediately eaten by a sea monster. Okay, awesome. And now... I can... Okay, do I start here? Ah, there we go. Why can't you tell me that? Wait, how do you even know about that place? Are we even talking about the same place? No, I'm positive I never told anyone about that. I didn't even write it in my diary. There's no way you could know about that. The thing you just said. It's not scientifically possible. You are not scientifically possible! You've got me really curious now. Something weird is clearly going on around here. It involves around my secret Hogwarts pickup stop. So I aim to get to the bottom of it. Okay, here's what we'll do. I'll go to that spot now. You come and meet me there. We end up at the same spot. The spot where there's no possible way you can know about. Then you'll have a lot of explaining to do. There's a click. You head directly to Moore's Hill, only to find Felicia has gotten there ahead of you. Given that she lives further away, you assume this means she was in a hurry. The hill is peaceful, and the stars have just started to come out. You see the whole town spread out in front of you. Felicia doesn't say anything until you approach, and doesn't even seem to be looking at you. Only after you sit down next to her does she finally acknowledge your presence. All right, I'm here, and you have some explaining to do. Okay. Let's save it right there. You can't handle the... See, I'm a wizard. I'm from the future. I have psychic powers. Everything here, including you, is a video game that I'm playing. Go on. How does that explain you knowing things I never told anyone? You did tell me in an earlier playthrough. So me that told you, and I just don't remember it, because it didn't happen in this session or something? I guess that makes sense in a Twilight Zone sort of way. So what's this all about? This game, I mean. What are you trying to do in it? You keep dying in stupid ways and the game ends. I'm trying to figure out how to keep you alive. Oh, that's pretty dark. So how does it, does that mean I wouldn't have survived if we'd gone out to dinner like we planned? What exactly would have happened at dinner? Died in a lot of stupid ways. Sea monster. Yeah, died in a lot of stupid ways. Oh, that was pretty vague. From the way you said that, it's like how many times have you had to watch me die? So far, eight times in six different ways. Jeez, no idea. You counted each one? No, the game just gave me that number. <coughs> <coughs> ah. Oh. Can't decide if it's something more macabre or less. So let me get this straight. You're playing a game. A game in which I seem destined to die if we go out to dinner. So this time you convinced me to come here instead of going out to dinner, because if we go to dinner, I'm basically doomed. So what does that mean now? Since we didn't go to dinner, am I in the clear? I'm not sure, but you died everywhere else. I wouldn't get your hopes up. Oh, brutal honesty. 
Okay, there. I can take it. You understand if I don't... Uh, hold it up again, so... Yeah. I'll have to keep taking it once. My depth here. I was gonna say that I've never been in this situation before, so I'm not really sure how to react. But what you're saying, if what you're saying is true, I've been in this situation lots of times so far. I still don't know how to react, though. I'm kind of in shock and going on autopilot. I really want to not believe you about any of this, but somehow I know you're telling me the truth. Well, here we are. We successfully cheated my death, even if it's only for a little bit. What should we talk about? Well, let's quick save here. Uh-oh. Ooh, this is beautiful. Maybe I shouldn't have quick saved here. Uh... Down the Taco Palace right about now. Taco Palace covered in motion. Live with the tell what's going on. Your brain starts to piece together what you're seeing. The entire building is covered in tentacles. Livid green with the harsh illumination of outdoor lamps. And the thrashing of the water is clear. They're attached to something truly massive. So, was that always going to happen at the taco place? I mean, the taco place is where I could tell her to step to the side. You were able, so you were able to survive the first thing, but if you... Yeah, but I'm just like, so I'm wondering, is the taco place the only place where I can rescue her at the last minute, or could I have rescued her at the other place, like from the shootout, from the peanuts, I think and, had, it, simple, and yeah. had the sea monster or some monster. Yeah, some other disaster. Some other horrible like thing. She would have, like, a and that's what I would witness here? Yeah. Maybe? Okay, okay. Interesting. Hmm. It's never visible, though. It supports Buckle. The whole building is pulled into the churning water. She's quiet, watching it sink. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but in some ways, I apparently die or straight out of B-movies. One of the shooting stars catches your eye looks especially bright. Oh, wow, look at that one. The monster's roaring noise gets bigger and bigger. It's a flash and boom that you feel through your feet as much as your ears. When you can see again, there's a smoking crater centered almost exactly where Felicia was sitting. Oh, no! And I had made no choices. I, I actually screwed myself up with a quick save. So, I need to start over. You can get there pretty quick. Yeah, now that I know what I'm doing. Hogwarts. So I don't know if I had another option besides just sitting and talking to her. Like maybe it'll present me with a new option here. Right. Okay, so that all made sense. <laughs> okay. Okay, so am I out of choices at this point? I don't remember. Ah, okay, here we go. Okay, cool, I can save her. What kills me after that? Or am I in the clear? This is new to me too. Yeah, okay. There's a light movement in the sky. A moment later, another. The sky's full of them. Whoosh. Such a comment on other games of this style that are... Th this is how you play it. You go, oh, you know yeah. what? I'll just go back and try it again. I'll go back and try it again. Yeah. Okay, smoking crater, just like before. Okay, changing color. Another slower. Six different colors. The larger one passed directly overhead. It's a little odd though, it seems like. Flying saucers? Ah! Not even taking it seriously anymore. Shaft of light lances down. Bathes you both in greenish radiance. Just have time to hear Felicia and mutter seriously before you both reduce to stardust. Four. Changing color. Another slower. Six different colors. The larger one passed directly overhead. It's a little odd though. It seems like flying saucers. Ah! Not even taking it seriously anymore. Shaft of light lances down. Bathes you both in greenish radiance. Just have time to hear Felicia and mutter seriously before you both reduce to stardust. So I don't know exactly where the right place is so to save when I want to prevent stuff like that. Because, I mean, I don't know when to when go back to. Deviated. Yeah. Um, I believe if you run this path one more time, I think you're in good shape. Okay. So. 
And then I'll save right, maybe right before, right after I make that previous choice. Okay, so change of plans is too dangerous. Go to Hogwarts. Blah, 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 blah. And over here, na, na, na. Um, everything here is a video game. Early playthrough. Keep dying in stupid ways. Um, peanuts. Uh, ten times in eight different ways. Game gave me the number. You're still kind of doing. Uh, that wasn't there before. Yeah, that's true. And then. Here's a good place to quick save, probably. Yeah, that's true. All right. Talk about different things up here than we do down there. I need your help. I'm hoping you can help me figure out what I'm missing. So now what? Talk and see what happens? To be taken at once. Out of my depth. We've never been here before. Uh, I don't know how to react. I'm an autopilot. I think I've seen these lines before. Mm -hmm. Um... What should we talk about? Okay. So, I can tell her to come to the other side of the bench. I'll, or... Why is this game so hard? Why do you think you keep dying? That's a personal question. I don't know. I'm not sure how to answer that. I haven't been doing anything bad. That's not my experience. I don't know why it keeps happening. Excuse me, Doctor. Can you tell me why I'm doomed? I don't know. How's it usually work in video games? This is a die of death, like Eris or something. Who's Eris? Never played Final Fantasy VII? I have not. Uh, I'm not sure we'd be friends anymore. I'm sorry. Well, that's just character game. She died, everyone got really upset. I remember the blue back then, games only usually killed side characters, not core party members. Fans didn't take it well, they didn't like losing her, didn't like realizing there was absolutely nothing you could do to save her. Maybe it's like that. I'm supposed to die in order, you know, to embolden you, strengthen your resolve so you can complete your epic quest. Hehe. <laughs> But on the other hand, if the game always ends right after I die, and there are a bunch of ways I can die, and that does seem to imply that you're supposed to find a way to avoid it. I suppose, I guess, don't take this the wrong way, but you could say I keep dying because of you. But on one hand, you could say I keep dying because we haven't figured out how to save me yet. On a deeper level, you could say that I keep dying because you keep playing. For example, if you stopped after the first time I died, then I would only have died once. I'm not saying it's preferable, but what would happen to me to the world if you stopped playing? But I stay dead? What if you quit the game before I died? What happens to characters in the story if the storyteller just stops before he's done? Hmm, she's lost in thought. Silence surrounds you. Hmm. I wish I knew what this is about. Pretty big question. I assume you mean by the game you're playing, but you have to admit, game or no game, try to kind of question be pondering on a hip to hill top to meet the stars? Heck, I can't see the game. I mean, I see absurd things we have that have been going on tonight, and your explanation is true and all. But from my point of view, I'm not in a game. That's still a good question. Maybe the answers are the same? Basically asking why do bad things happen, right? That's something people have been asking since forever. They seem pretty darn determined in your case. They do, don't they? Maybe we're asking the wrong question, then. After all, the game is clearly about something. I don't know what the game looks like from your end, but from mine, well... I can't see anyone going through the trouble of making a game as weird as this without having something in their mind they wanted to say. Say, what does the game look like anyway? To me, it just looks like, you know, life. What is it like for you? Choice on the menu. <laughs> it's like a visual novel. Oh, well, that sounds pretty low budget. That's too bad. If I'm not actually real, my whole existence is actually a lie and all that. It'd be nice to at least know that it was a high budget lie with nice graphics. Then there's a light and a movement. Oh no! You should come sit the other side of the bench. Alright. She buys you another five minutes tops. What gets me next time? You die when the aliens invade. Space kind? For real? They get less and less plausible. What comes after that? I don't know yet. One thing at a time, I guess. Look at that one. Boom. That was exciting. It was still scary. Okay. So now she knows about the next one. So you got it's almost time now. Yeah, so the question is, do I do this or do I try to ask one more question before doing that? You could quick save here and do both. That's true. 
Also, Taylor, it definitely sounds to me like Chronostosis was not ready to have Final Fantasy VII spoiled for her. Ah. Uh, Even if that game did come out, like, a decade and a half ago. Yeah. Almost two decades. I had heard about that character, actually, and stuff, so it wasn't spoiled for me, but I was never, I was certainly never going to go back and play it, so... Uh, I was not, I actually did not get into console gaming until, uh, aside from uh, my brother's uh, Sega Genesis, which I played a few games on, I didn't really get into it until my Xbox. I was more of a PC gamer, so I missed all generations of, of like Japanese games and stuff. Um, so what am I missing here? I don't think I asked that, did I? No. We'll look up and you find it. Let's think through it. Done this far by saving and loading your games to make sure you never make mistakes, right? Now you're worried there might not actually be a choice you can make that leads to what you want. If you reach this, uh, the end of what you can accomplish with good choices, all those are bad choices, right? What else can you do, right? If your choices are all bad ones, you either have to pick one anyway or stop playing the by the game's rules. It nervously fiddles with her hat for a moment. See the movie Groundhog Day with Bill, what's his name? Murney? Right, because she doesn't know. Okay, so she's giving me crap about Eris, but she can't say Bill Murray. She's a video game character. Mm, guess so. I remember that movie. Wasn't that a great movie? Kept doing all the things with the town folks, making changes, but ultimately couldn't get out until he changed himself in some way. I wonder if this is sort of like that. Obviously, it's not the perfect analogy, but maybe the choice you needed to make, uh, need to make to win isn't something you can do, but rather something you have to be? Hmm. Hmm. You saved me from a lot of things that might have happened. I guess you're doing okay. We figure out how not to lose. Don't know how to win. What do you mean win? What would winning a game like this mean? What exactly you're looking to get out of this. Yeah, an ending different from the others where you don't die. Well then you finally did the right thing? Hmm. How about this? I'm part of the game, right? Can I do it? Here. Congratulations, the winner is you! You have beaten the game! Well done! Assume that made the message you're looking for show up on your screen. Does that count? Yes! I win! The winner is me! No, not really. That's too bad. Is I'm not official enough or something? I've grabbed my top hat and monocle. I don't think I have time at this point. So, I think it's even possible to win this game. How do you know that a good ending even exists? <coughs> hmm. Yeah. It's usually true, I guess. I wonder if the author of the game agrees with you. I guess you can make a puzzle that was missing a piece or something if you're trying to make a statement. Like a box of jigsaw pieces missing a single piece. As a pretentious art installation. I don't know, does this game feel pretentious to you? Yeah, kind of pretentious. <laughs> Maybe that's it then. Maybe they're just there to make a statement for the sake of making a statement. This seems like an odd way to go about it, though. He's back and goes quiet for a moment. Although I guess if you have a box full of jigsaw pieces and you're missing a piece, this might just be, look outside the box. Your aliens have arrived. The city's burning. Oh, it's on fire. I guess you're right about, well, all of this. But we seem to stop hoping there's some kind of trick or something. Somehow, though, I knew ever since we came up here that what you're saying was true. Glad we waited for this. It feels braver somehow facing it head on. Guess this is the end. Any last words for me? Hmm. You think this is the ending he had in mind? Oh, how should I know? We've already established I'm not a good source of insight to the author's mind. That being said, though, somehow I doubt it. And... Oh, our date ended in disaster. Hmm. Kronatos is right. She does seem fairly quick to accept the weirdness, but then she specifically calls herself out on that. Yeah, so I'm going to say, why is this game so hard? It could be that I'm bad at games. I'm probably going to die some kind of magical... Reminds me of a different game now that I think of it. Ever played Chrono Trigger? Uh, played it for five minutes. I remember it. Uh, how the game ended? If you died, every hit game over, it would show you the world of the future right as the disaster hit. Explosion spread across it. You saw the planet from space, all turning gray. It had this horrible alien sound, and words appeared saying, "But the future refused to change." It gives me chills as a kid, honestly. It was that? It was way more powerful than just a generic game over screen. Anyway, just reminded of it because yeah, all of this. Basically trying to do the same thing, fix the bad future that you know is coming, but it keeps refusing to budge. I'm not sure what to suggest. If you're playing Chrono Trigger, you could go punch an alien until the future got better. That solution may not be applicable to this problem, though. She sighs. 
That was such a good game. So, so I mean, I guess I can. I wonder what this does. That skips to the next choice. Oh, uh, gotcha. Okay. I don't think you've done it's almost time. I, oh, that's true, because I just kept talking. Yeah. Yeah, I think she... Oh. Um... Hmm. Yes, I haven't figured this out yet. I'm not going to give up. Uh, I think that's where I am, actually. I mean, I'd love to say this and, and just see if something different happens, but sure. actually, I'm going to quick save here. Um. Alright. This part where I die, will it hurt? Uh, not for me, at any rate. I guess that's not true. I guess that's true. Get your game over screen and you're done. Doesn't seem fair. They've arrived. The city's burning, and now we are gonna die. Yeah, this is the end. Any last words for me? I'll see you again. I know. Glad you got here. You're right, I'm sure. All right. So anyway, back reloading. Okay. So, oh, a wonderful news. What is it? What's the solution? I lied. I don't know. I was just hoping if I said so, the answer show up as an option on the menu. <clears throat> That's awesome. I don't know. So do you know another thing I'm not doing? I, there's a there's a line of dialogue that gives... There's two things. Okay. Go ahead and keep going. Last words? Goodbye? I haven't said goodbye yet. Take care, you hear? Hope you find what you're looking for. And the twang. And that ends in disaster. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do I need to go back further now, or what do I need to do? Uh, I think you can load again from where you were. Should I give up because it's too hard? Uh, I don't know what happens when you do that one. Uh, I haven't done it yet. Will it hurt? I said all of these. I haven't said this one yet. I'll try looming, city burning. Okay, I think I've said all of the things. So I can say. Do you think this is the end of the author? I, I did. I did say that earlier. Yeah, I said all of those three of those things. Okay. She just says she doubts that it's the one that he had in mind. So. Um, uh, maybe do start game. And start from scratch. So I assume I should do this. Yeah. And then tell her Hogwarts. Hogwarts. If you hit control, you'll skip to the next choice. Oh. Alright. So it's okay if I say this. Yeah. Here, I'll at least F5 here. Um Did tell me in an earlier playthrough. This seemed okay, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of stupid ways. 13 times, 8 different ways. The game gave me the number. Uh, still kind of doomed. Talk to her more. Take it back to autopilot. Yeah. Okay. So I can save here before I've said anything. But so I explored all of these. These are just conversations about what the game means. Mm -hmm. And then I can move her to the bench, the side of the bench, so she can li live a little bit longer. Yeah. I don't feel like I've got any other options. I, I swear I remember another thing, but I might be misremembering. Um. 
Ask her to come sit on the other side of the bench. More cheating. Death. Why is she only five minutes? Done. The aliens invade. Hopefully a happy ending for that one. So now I just got questions for her. Uh, why do you think you keep dying? I wish you could figure out how to win this. Do you have any ideas? Yeah, and all of these are the things I've, I've already pursued. Can you do win this again? Hmm. Maybe yes, but now I'm stuck. You can do that one. I figured out you got this far, right? Should it be more help? She can't hand you the answer. It's a video game you're spending all your time trying to save me. I wonder if that means you'll get blasted for promoting unfortunate gender stereotypes. You know, they're helpless video game girls to, res to rescue. Why can't we advance meaning beyond these Stone Age stereotypes? To always treat women as mere objects to be rescued. That would serve the author right. I guess one question I have is, what do you mean win? What would winning a game like this mean? What exactly are you hoping to get out of this? I said this before. Um, and then really, this is kind of what I want. Like, I don't really need it to say I won, necessarily. I just need it to be over with her alive. But... But she kind of answers it like she's answering all of the questions. Like, she says, Congratulations, you're winning! Yeah. And I guess I could just quit right now. Is that our way out? I mean... That's there, there's another conversation that I can't remember how to get to. Where if you yes, the winner is me. Awesome, glad I could help. Still gonna die from aliens, aren't I? Nope, you're totally safe now. We won. It's, even, it's impossible to win this game. How do you know a good ending even exists? Kind of a dick move. Yeah, so I, I, we already had this part of the conversation. You, you haven't done all of them. No, but I did the middle one. It'll be pretty... I think... They're all pretty similar, Do right? maze with an exit. I'm not sure. See how long you look for one? Bring attention to the idea that not all mazes have exits? Maybe to force you to pick yourself... Pick yourself where you want to stop rather than pointing to the spot and telling you that's where you should try to go? There's a light. So that's... It's telegraphing pretty aggressively at this point. Yeah, there's not going to be a happy ending. Right. That I just need to decide what... You need to decide when you're done. There's, you got some nice moments setting Say up. Say nothing and watch the falling stars. Oh, this is a new one. Wait. Has, have you ever thought about how stories work? A lot, actually. Oh, cool, me too. I used to think of them all the time. Not about particular stories, but how they work as a medium. Why we love them so much. Have you ever thought about where a story lives? Like where I don't think we're going to go full hour on it. But we're... Yeah, we're almost done. Uh, I don't know how to really say this. Where it exists? I used to think the stories lived in, you know, books, or in the mind of the person telling the story or whatever. I think stories live in the brain of whoever's listening to it. When someone tells us a story, we go along with whatever they say, because that's the easiest thing to do. What if they stop telling us what to do? What if someone told you a story and then stopped uh, before telling you how it ends? Is the story dead forever? Doomed to be forever unfinished? What if you like the story and want an ending? Even if you didn't start it, are you allowed to finish it yourself? It's in your head at that point, right? You can do whatever you want with it. Who's going to stop you? Now, I do actually do that. Like, there's some... Like movies or TV shows or something that I really love, where I'll create my own headcanon to piece it together. Be, like if if, the, if I feel like the author's made a mistake, sure, I'll patch it up just so that I can keep going because sure. I want the story. Uh, you know, I want the story that's working in my head more than I want the story that they're writing for me. But I don't. I just. I don't want to just give up and quit because because I love so much about it. I was going to stop you, and then what if they did finish telling you the story, but you just didn't like how it ended? What if you just decided that it ended a different way than they said? The very act of storytelling itself is a deeply collaborative activity, right? They, ha uh, they have to tell a story, and you have to play it out in your mind with, well, they tell you. That's how it works, right? What would happen if the audience rebelled and played a different story in their minds than the one that was being told? Would that story be any less valid or real? The ending is still the official ending. I can't just change the ending because I disagree with it. Imagine a better ending? Yep. Yeah, I guess so. This is a game, right? Regular storytelling wasn't collaborative enough already. Game storytelling kicks up to a whole new level. 
In book or movie, the author can at least know you'll read everything exactly as you wrote it. Someone writing a game, though, has to, do, has to cede a ton of control to the players to make it a game. The player can already make the game tell an entirely different story than the one the author envisioned, just in how they play. Maybe they make the hero die instead of save the day. Maybe they don't turn out to be bad enough dude to save the president after all. So if you can do that, do you even need the game to tell you the rest of the story? If I'm in a story, the ultimate control of the story is you, and theoretically you should be able to just decide that it ends however you want, and it will. Maybe you're right. I'll give it a try. I have faith! You can make the story go wherever you want. All you have to do is stop listening to the game's plans for the story and start following your own. Although, if you're taking suggestions for the ending, might I suggest that I'd love to win the lottery and own a private tropical island. Just saying. So you're still here. I'm still here. Already mangling the story, reloading, restarting, doing undo choices. Why are you getting cold feet now? What's the problem here? I just want to hear what she says. I want to hear what's written. Seriously, quit the game. Walk away. Write whatever ending you want for me in your head. Okay. I think I am actually going to quit now. Right. I've been just trying to see what she was going to say. But, because uh, I like her. And you know what? There is one, one thing. Uh, one thing that I can't do in my own imagination is if an author is like part of, an author's ability to surprise me is a big part of the experience sure the char a character's ability to surprise me is a big part of the experience and so if i walk away and just make things up for what felicia does it's it doesn't really feel like felicia to me because felicia is something that exists outside of myself right. and so a felicia that i write is different from the felicia that's given to me sure so that's so true. i don't fully you know agree with it i mean yeah so i i agree with aspects of it about the way that stories work but but it isn't, it isn't exactly the same for me to just go and write one. It's true, but there is a certain amount. I mean, this story has literally gotten to a point where it's explicitly told you, if you want a happy ending, walk away. Yeah. Imagine it yourself. Yeah. You, you have the author's explicit permission via Felicia to do so. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's true. So I'm going to type into the chat, Felicia and I walk down the mountain... Uh, was it more like a hill? It's like a hill. More like a hill, Walk yeah. down the hill after the meteor shower. Nothing else eventful happens that night except for a long and super fun conversation about interactive storytelling and then some frozen toll house cookies from my freezer yum no lottery no island those are lame and I make fun of Felicia for asking for them. The end. There's my story. We did it. We did it. You win. I just won. Save the date. That was awesome. We did it. I really like save the date. <laughs> no, that was really good. That was really cool.